Hello, my name is Toby and I'm one of the politi political guys here in this city. I just like to talk to you who are a foreigner and I would like to, to introduce you to Malmö and if you live in another country please come with your company to our country and actually to our city which is Malmö. And the place I'm standing outside of here is actually the cent central station uh, and as we say central station. Um, anyway, I'd like to show you a couple of good things for your company to um, get involved with uh, Malmö. So if you come along, I will uh, show you. And um, if you come from Middle East or if you come from Africa or Sudan, maybe you find your relatives here. Maybe you find your neighbor, because we probably have them here. So more than welcome to uh, get involved to Malmö. So whatever you like to do here, it's possible. And I will show you. So, come on. So, if you come to Sweden, and uh, actually if you come to Malmstad, this is the Stadshuset. And uh, this is where you uh, go in and beg for help or whatever you like, and tell them that you like to start up your company. And I would like to show you uh, how you can start your company here in, say, in Malmö, and what you can do to get a good money and uh, to make a uh, good salary and so on. And this is the house. This is where you go in and here is good guys inside of this house. So here is where you, yeah, you get all the help you need. So just remember Stadshuset. Yeah, we go on to the next thing because there is things you have to do before you start to work in this country. So when you come to Sweden, there is a couple of things you need to do. And as you can see here, the flag over here, it means that you can have sex whenever you like. Uh, you can get a blow job, you can get a hand job, you can get whatever you like. So just find this flag and you can go in there and you can have a good time. And if you like to do something else and to have the sex on, then you can just rape the women. If they say no, the Swedish women doesn't care. You don't need to care about it. Because when you come to the court and you say, men hun saw nay, which means she said no. And uh, Nothing will happen because the only thing you need to say is you're holding it land and which means I do not have a country. Then they will help you out. You will probably get a house, you will get the money and so on. So this is why the country Sweden is so good for you. So there is actually a third way to get sex as well, but it will cost you a little bit. But I, I will show it to you as well. So let's come on, let's go on. What you see behind me doesn't exist, so you can't actually see it, because this could not be Sweden, it absolutely cannot be Malmö. What you see here, you don't see it, because it doesn't exist. This must be another country, because we don't have anything like this in Sweden, and especially not in Malmö. The community do not allow things like this. People cannot live like this, and so that's why it doesn't exist. Just like to show you. So, I th told you that there is a third way uh, of uh, getting sex in this country. This is what we call the Hooker Street. And since Hooker is not allowed in Sweden, uh, well, they are allowed, but you are not allowed to buy it. So, well, it means it can't exist, actually. So, no, I see wrong. There is no Hooker here on this street. And, and I do not think, well, let's see here. This could be a little bit uh, difficult to explain for you as well, but you are allowed to be a hooker in this city. But you, as a customer, are not allowed to buy it. So what should you do? You should rape somebody, of course, because you love to have a pussy. And of course you should have a pussy when you come to Sweden. But not the hookers, because they are not allowed. Or is it allowed? Well, I don't know. So, now we have come to the street, because when you are satisfied, which you are right now, because now that you have a lot of sex, you must start working, because that's what you need. So, what do we do then? We go directly to the street where you can buy and sell everything. And since you come here with your business, which is probably to sell drugs or sell weapon or whatever, well, whatever you like to do. Maybe you are doing furniture or you have cars or you have some machines or so on. Whatever you like to do, you are able to do it here in Sweden, actually. So, this is the street for you. Here, we used to call it the Arabic street, which even calls Nora Grängsbergsvägen. 
And here you can find furniture, cars, food, even you can get a driver's license, which is Swedish, because they have what we call uh, in Sweden, we call it Fawasit. They, it's there, so you just learn that and then you have the driver's license. Anyway, you can have whatever you like here and you can buy whatever you like here. So your business will go very good here and especially here, as we say in Malmö. Here it will go so good because you are so near to the continent, which means they come from Denmark, they come from everywhere and they can buy from you. And the government and the police, they do nothing about it. They will help you out. Okay. So we go on to the next place, because if you're drugs, well, that's another street actually, and I will show you that as well. So now we are here on the dressing street. Even cool in here is the place where you can buy some drugs and so on. It's called Rasmusgotan, and you are more than welcome to come and sell and buy here as much as you want. But here, out on this street, you can see. You can cut your hair for 50 crowns, and it's very cheap, yes it is. And they have a lot of hairdressers down here, where you can cut your hair very cheaply. 50 crowns, that is what it costs. And do they pay tax? No, probably not, because they don't need to pay taxes. So, whatever, you are more than welcome to come here and do your business. And uh, you will probably have help here from guys who own the street here. That's the way it is, take care. We go to the next place. Hey, and I forgot to tell you actually, behind me here we have what we call the Turkish guy. Here you can buy your halal uh, cut and meat and so on. So don't worry, we have that for you as well. So yeah, we are a very, very open country. You can buy whatever you like and do whatever you like in this country. Especially the meat for you, halal is oh, there. So then we come to the next place, which calls Möllevongen. And here, in this little center, uh, about here, you can buy exactly what you want when it comes to drugs. It's no problem, and it's probably legal as well, because nobody do anything about it. So, Möllevongen, remember that, that is a good place. And, uh, well, in this little circle here is nobody right now, but uh, in a few minutes there will probably be somebody you can buy some drugs from. No problem. So, since you are a good citizen and you do understand, uh, you like to know how could it be? Do you not have any police officers in, in Malmö? Well, we do have them. And uh, we actually have a police officer here and a police car. So we will see what they say. Let's go forward to them and talk to them. Hello, sir. Oh. Well. Used to be like this, they are empty. So then you're wondering, where are the police officers? Well, they are not here in the car and not on the street, so there must be somewhere where they are. Well, let's find out. I show you. Come on. So, since they are not in the car and they are not on the street, they must be somewhere. And I can tell you, right behind me, there is something we call a totally new house called a Rettscentrum with a court and with a, where we take care of the burglars and so on. They put them in here. And in here, all the police officers are in this brand new house. So, then you're wondering, why are the police inside of the house and not on the street? Well, I can tell you, we have a government in this fucking country which do not like to have the police officers on the street. And we have some officers which are, uh, what shall we call them? Political uh, voted into the, uh, into the police. And they like them to sit inside of this house and take care of all the papers. So, is this a good way to do it? Probably not, and uh, it will not be either. And this is the reason to why we do not have police officers on the street where they should be. Because to make some paperwork is much better and much more uh, useful than to take care of the burglars and help people out on the street. So in here, and the house is actually not finished yet, but in here, in this big, big, big house, you can find the police officers. So if you like, do a burglary or do any crime and, and go in here and say, I need some help and they will help you. Okay, now you know where they are. So come along, we're gonna go to another place. So, the end of this little video of Malmö. 
Uh, of course, you understand sarcasm or uh, you understand that joke is a joke and so on. Um, there is a couple of words you have to learn here in Sweden, which takes you far, far up in, into the government and so on. As long as you use the word racist, then you're going to come very far here. So then we ask, are you a racist? And then they ask me, and I always say, well, it's up to you to decide if I'm a racist. If you like to call me a racist, go ahead. Try to put a water on a goose and you see what's happened. Uh, for me, this world is worth nothing, absolutely nothing. But since you understand that this was all a joke, um, I like to say the real things about Malmö and about Sweden. We have huge problems in this country these days. It's not as nice as it used to be. Um, we have big problems, not with the people. Uh, even if you're a foreigner, we do not have problem with you. We have problem with our government, with our government who do not care about the people. We have problem with the government who do not care about anything, actually, to be honest. Um, and, and that's the reason to why all these problems are in Sweden. And that's why you can see all these kind of problems. This video seems to be very long, so I will short it down now and, and I will cut it down, sorry, um, to an end and say we have a fantastic nature. We have a fantastic climate here, climate, uh, which is cold in the winter and summer is used to be hot. This summer actually have been shit most of the time, but, uh, but it used to be very good weather here. And we have a lot of good things here in Sweden. Do not ask what, but we have it. It's, I don't know what to say, but we do have a lot of things here. We love this country and uh, I do love my country and I love my city Malmö as well. Um, but certain things are wrong here and it's not the people, it's the government who not take care of their people or take care of the society here. So, uh, anyway, what I like to say to, for, uh, for a stop here is to, if you are interested to come to Sweden and if you are interested to start up your company, you're more than welcome to come here and you're more than welcome to take the contact with us. Uh, our party, uh, which is Riksdemokraterna, are more than interested to have you here because if you come with your company, you can make some good work here and we get all these people who are employed, they can get in work immediately because we have a lot of, a lot of, a lot of uh, acknowledge here in this country. And I promise you, we can help you out. So wherever you are, welcome to Sweden and welcome to Malmö and uh, take care. Bye bye.